Hey guys, welcome to another video. Hey, it finally happened for me. Uh, November 15th, 2017, after several years of passing on bucks, I finally got my chance and made it happen. You can see here I got a beautiful 10 point buck um, this year. Opening day of season, raining all day long, and the patience paid off. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the story about how I managed to to bring this big brute down and uh, kind of how all my efforts and uh, property management have kind of come to fruition here on this particular hunt. So stay tuned, we'll give you some more details on uh, how it all happened. Well, here I am in my blind. Um, this, is a, this is a blind I shot my big buck in on opening day. And we kind of give you a rundown on how this thing went down that afternoon. It was a rainy day. Uh, started off in the morning, got in here at 6 a.m. Rained pretty much maybe about an hour or so after daylight and then just drained and downpoured all day long. And I, I wanted to get up and go back into the house for a little while and it was raining so bad I decided no nah, I'm just gonna stay here. And probably um, I may have got a chance to record some of this but my phone died at about Two or three o'clock in the afternoon and I'd had deer come through um, pretty much all day I was seeing deer off and on I mean at one point I had them bedding down just over here um, watching me pretty much I couldn't even move because they were so close and uh, but it was a good good day I just sat in here got the heater going a little bit a couple times and probably about four o'clock or so I'd seen a group of does and fawns and basically I'm going to spin around here and show you behind me because that's where they were um, they were basically back over here and I had seen them there a couple times during the during the day and I thought it was the same group and so I'm watching them and I I go ahead and I kind of open my window up and get my gun out and yeah, then like it's the same group. It's just does and fawns. So I decided to take my gun, set my gun down, and I just closed the window. And just as I did that, I looked up, and through this shooting lane right through here, I just caught a glimpse of a big deer and antlers. And I says, "Holy cow! I think I got a bit nice buck out in front of me." And he he'd come in with another doe. They, those two were kind of by themselves, separate, and so I hurried up and opened, slowly opened the window up, and got the window open up about like that, and then I uh, went and grabbed my gun and got my gun out the window, and, and I got it on him um, out there, and I figured I'm going to wait a second, see if when he picks his head up, and if he looks like a good buck, then I'll shoot him, and pretty much that's what I did, as soon as he picked his head up. Then I went ahead and shot him, and as soon as I shot him, he he did the old he did the old mule kick, and I was pretty comfortable that I had got him at that point. Um, but I still waited a few minutes, probably about 10, 15 minutes, and then I got down out of here and and went and checked the spot where I'd shot him. He did run off, and I thought I'd have a little bit of a tracking job. So that's kind of how the whole hunt went down right before I uh, I shot my nice. 10 point buck. So, like I said, after about 10 minutes, I got down and I came out here, walked out here into my food plot. And right down here is where I shot him. And I came back over here. And let me show you here. So, there's there, this is my shooting lane right here in my blind back there. And I thought, I thought when I shot him, I thought he was up in here, kind of close to the, closer to the woods, and so I'm looking here all over on the ground, and I don't see, I don't see any hair, I don't see any blood, I don't see, don't see anything, mm -hmm. and I knew he ran off in this direction right here, so I started walking down my trail here, and I still couldn't find anything, so by I thought, man, I must have, there's no way I missed him. And I saw him do that mule kick. I know he must have hit him. So after walking down there about 20, 30 yards, 
I decided to come back up here and I said, well, let me check one more time and see if maybe he was standing a little bit further back than what I thought. And so sure enough, I came walking a little bit further back in my food plot here. And sure enough, there's probably even still some some hair down here right now. Oh yeah. Got a little bit of hair down there. But yeah, I saw the hair right in here and then the blood. And basically he went right through here and took off running through basically right through here. And I tracked him through here probably about maybe another half hour, 45 minutes later I came I went back to the house and then I came back out here. Figured at that point, I knew I'd probably got a good hit on him, and he didn't go too far. So I tracked him back here, and he probably had gone back in here about another uh, 50 yards or so um, back into this thick stuff. And that's where I found him. Um, so I uh, put a good shot on him um, right through double lung, right through the, the chest. Um, Took out both lungs and half of his half of his heart, so he he went pretty far with the amount of damage it done done to him. So then the fun part was getting him out of here before right before dark, and luckily I was able to kind of pull him out over onto my trail over here where I could drive around and get my tractor to him. So that's a uh, then we got him up to the house and took care of him from there. But that was my hunt. Uh, like like it goes you know you never know uh, when you're gonna be in the right place at the right time and at least this year I was in the right place at the right time for a change um, like I mentioned before uh, it's been about seven years since I shot my last buck so um, I'd been passing on a lot of deer over the years and I think I was due so it was good to finally uh, finally make it happen this year so hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know it's not uh, kind of recreating it here, the hunt a little bit, but uh, just wanted to share that with everybody on the channel as you've seen all the food plots and different things that I've been doing. Um, but this year it kind of paid off. My food plots didn't turn out as good as I wanted to, but um, still, they're, they're still an attraction for the deer, and it's better probably than not doing it. So um, hopefully, like I said, you enjoyed the video. Um, please uh Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, and uh, let me know what you thought on uh, your deer hunting season this year and how it went for you. Appreciate the comments and look forward to seeing you in the next video.